Okay, let's go to oh, web browser. Uh, I'm using Google Chrome. Let's use Google. Google.com. Let's search um, circle generator. All right, let's go to Scott Murray's circle generator website. Okay, so this application, this app can generate a KML format files so that uh, Googlers can read this format. It can generate line string, polygon, or multi geometry circles. As you can see, go to this website, you can input a few necessary information so that uh, you can draw, uh, you can generate your own circle. Okay, for example, I'm going to take the Central Park in New York City as the circle center. And as you can see, there are two coordinates uh, that should be provided. The first coordinate should be latitude, for example, 40.76. Okay. And the second coordinate is called longitude. For example, it's negative 73.97. And then I say the radius value is 2000 kilometers. Here I can uh, choose multi geometry or polygonal. Don't choose line string. If you choose line string, you cannot change the field color of the circle. You can choose polygon or multi geometry. Here I want to try both again. Let's try polygon first and then we click on generate. Then simply download this KML file. Okay, let's save. All right, let's go to Google Earth, okay. I installed Google Earth Pro. You can also use Google Earth. Google Earth Pro, and then let's go to file and open. Choose that KML file you just downloaded. Choose it and Click on OK. As you can see, you can see this shaded uh, circle. So you can go to this zone, this area, and uh, click on the KML workbench, and you can see the center. The center means the circle center here. You can choose the polygon okay, and uh, right click, and you can see property button in the list, and uh, you can click on it. You can now you can see describing tab and you click on the style color tab okay and then you can choose your field color here here it's kind of light green i can choose to uh for example pink i choose pink and uh, it's field okay field you can choose field out outline only outline or field and outline okay i just change the field color and after city you can choose uh, to increase optics, opacity, click on OK. It's still transparent, but uh, the color is darkened. Of course, if you want to highlight that line, you can click on here, you can choose a line. For example, I choose a line as the green color and make it thicker and uh, choose it. Oh, okay. This is only polygon. Okay, that's why it doesn't work here. So if you choose a multi geometry, you can actually change the boundary line uh, color and uh, size. Let's go back to the website. Let's try to use multi geometry or keep the other original information unchanged. Then I click on generate. And then I download a new one. This should be different file name and automatically generate it and let's go to Google Earth and uh, file open and choose that recently generated KML file and uh, click on open and uh, the same area so let's go to the second KML workbench and as you can see, it was polygon. Now the second one becomes multi geometry. And then you do the same. Click on it, choose it, and right click and choose the property button in the down list. And uh, you will see uh, edit limited parts, or because this is a collection of geometric collection, including the bound boundary line and uh, polygon and the circle polygon. Okay. You just click on OK. 
and then you can choose uh, to choose to change uh, as we did it on on that polygon we can change its uh, polygon's color for example i choose green uh pink we're gonna do red okay this time we do red and then as you can see we can increase the opticity and then we can choose the line and the boundary line okay this time you can change the line for example i choose a green okay green color and i make it thicker a little bit thicker for example four okay and then let's see the preview as you can see the the boundary line can be bold and green now. So this is how you input KML file into Google Earth. So you, of course, you can go to a website called Earth Google. You actually can render the KML file online just on a web browser. So this is Google Earth's web version. As you can see, it's very similar to Google Earth. It's just like online web version. So you don't need to download Google Earth, you just use it online. Let's go to file again, and then input KML file. And then let's go to the first one that we downloaded. Uh, go to the polygon one, okay, first one. Choose X. You can double click on it. As you can see, this file is rendered. And then you choose your local KML file, and click on the little triangle in front of the KML workbench, and you choose the polygon, choose it, a menu pops up on the right top corner you can click on edit and you can choose the field color here for example I choose red this time now as you can see it becomes red please let me know if you have any questions